So there is no desire by anyone in office currently to reconcile with me. They'd rather eliminate me from the ballot. And if possible, put it... Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mutatim Pundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The current president Excuse joins me. <laughs> Mama, Mama. I, I, I have information right now Yes, sir. Uh, that they want to raid my son's farm tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, to distract the happenings. And I, I learned this on Friday. And they're saying my son is on the run. I ran him. Daddy, so where are you? I said, I'm at home. Mm -hmm. On the run, he says, no. My passport is with the state. Yeah. Now, you see, these are people who like putting red herrings at every spot, every opportunity to create a situation and so on, a perception and so on. So there is no desire by anyone in office currently to reconcile with me. They'd rather eliminate me from the ballot and, if possible, put a bullet in my head. Because I've heard stories. I've heard stories. And these stories cannot just be stories from without, because the people who are giving us stories are from within, you know. So, so the fight that I shouldn't be on the ballot has been appreciated. The fight that probably I'll get a bullet is being investigated. But see, all the same, I can say God Almighty knows what I deserve for being a Zambian who wants to save. I was in retirement alone there. He came and woke me up, harassed me to a point where I had to stand up and defend myself. I'm still defending myself. And I have to defend my family. Yes, I'm not saying that I should not defend my family and it's wrong for me to defend them. I'm defending my family, but my biggest family, the family of the Zambian people who are suffering, whom we promised a lot of things which we haven't done, and whom we persecute for insisting that, please, give us what you promised. Mm -hmm. Where is the 50 quacha bag of Nidimi? In the Mansa, what is happening, you so, uh, you have seen that there is a serious shortage of fuel. And if that continues, where are we headed to? And, the, and what I'm seeing, for example, in, 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 is it in Mansa? What I saw in Mansa elsewhere should have been uh, chaos. But you uh, luckily, Zambians are very humble people, law abiding, and so on. But for how long? Mm -hmm. For how long? So, so for me, um, I, I learned also yesterday that they want to arrest me for saying liars are being exposed. Yeah. But, but you see, how do you reconcile like that? <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, They've not fostered an environment for dialogue no, or no, reconciliation. No. Meanwhile, you're busy killing PF, which is my political party. Uh, you're busy appointing vice presidents and presidents and so on. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is what was frowned upon. I went to Kafue, Thomas, is it in job? The, Ziambo. No, no, the other Thomas, the mayor. Who's the mayor? Oh, yes, Thomas Zulu. Zulu. Yeah, yeah, Zulu came as mayor to just witness the event. And was he was fired. UPND he was UPND council chairperson. He was fired. <laughs> Eh? That's exactly what they were doing. I went to, to Kaoma. Uh, the mayor then, I was commissioning cadets in the correctional services. Yeah. Uh, he came as mayor. He was fired. And there was a by-election. There was a by-election. The... Now, yeah. they're doing the same thing. And they are watching. They're busy killing PF and I should be watching and smiling and so on. And then we should sit and reconcile by handshakes and cups of coffee. No, oh, that's not what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you come clean. I have come, we want to make peace. Uh, this is not going to happen. I go to Tingola, I cannot even drive to the funeral. I'm uh, pelted with stones, police are watching and so on. And they lie that, you know, I was going to do Benguele. And you want to reconcile, come clean. He who comes to equity must come, come with clean hands. Yeah. Yes, we saw a statement by government, your excellency, alleging that they stopped you from going to Chiwempala and no. Chilawombe. As if they have powers to stop you. But is that even legal? No, no, it's not legal. And I wasn't even going to Chiwempala. It's sad that I cannot respond to 
all these statements because yes, I think sir. I will be elevating them to my level mm. or reducing myself to their level, which is not good. Mm. But they don't get anywhere near me. How mm. can you lie that I was going to Shumampala when I was going to the cemetery? And we had agreed that you were going quietly for the funeral. After the funeral, you come back quietly. And if they were interested in where I was going, they should have followed me from Lusaka to Tisamba to Kapiri to Ndola to Kabwe, wherever I was going. They never followed me. Mm -hmm. So they are just looking for excuses. And the people are looking at them and wondering that, uh, what's wrong with these people? Because <laughs> eh? at every turn, and there is one gentleman who is a PS. I feel very sorry for him mm -hmm. uh, that he... Uh, when the time comes, he will be very miserable because the lies that he has volunteered for the pack of liars in there mm. is a phenomenon and, the, and the historical. Gobels, of course, had his own pack. The, 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 the Arab one was what? Komiko Ali? Yeah, Komiko Ali. Komiko Ali. Ali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, you know, we always have them, but I don't know what name will give that one. He's mm. a shame. Mm, yes. He's a shame. But yes. he, We'll leave him to the, his, his level. Yes, Your Excellency. No, leave him to, to us. Your Excellency, uh, I would like to thank you, but what would be your last words, especially of encouragement, um, to first members of the Patriotic Front during these very difficult times, and then to the people of Zambia, who I think facing some of uh, uh, the worst circumstances our country has ever faced since 1964? Uh, my message to the Patriotic Front members is that uh, let us remain united, let us remain focused, let us be our brother's keeper, and let us emulate Mr. Sata's big heart of forgiveness. Mr. Sata used to forgive a lot of people. His uh, history is not complete if you don't mention the fact that he was able to accommodate everyone, including those who were so angry, so bitter. Some of them insulted him, some of them physically assaulted him, but he forgave them. And that's how he built the special purpose of vehicle called PF, which has saved the Zambian well and which people want to continue. So if we're going to continue, let's see, use Mr. Sata as a role model. Let's talk to each other. Let's unite. And most importantly, the special purpose of vehicle called PF is people's hope. The majority of the Zambian people think that if PF came in again, it has learned its lessons, it has the experience, and it has the heart. It will see them into the next uh, better situation they are aspiring for. So tomorrow, let us wait for guidance from the SG on how we we'll proceed, because uh, I understand talks are still going on between the family with regards on whether we are going to have an alternative memorial church service or not. But personally, I want to appeal to everybody that let's become because uh, we have already lost four years now. This is the fourth year of the UPND government, mind you. And very soon we'll be voting in 2026. And Zambians will not hesitate to show them the exit. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rector. I'd like to thank you for sparing time and for gracing the conversation podcast. God bless you, Your Excellency. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Thank you. This is exclusive all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondo i love you peace i gotta go